Hey guys and welcome to this new video on our Linkvertise YouTube channel. Today I am going to talk about the Linkvertise Fullscript API and especially how you can use it to save a lot of time when creating new links. Additionally, we will talk about the integration of the Fullscript API in detail and uh, consider especially WordPress, Blogspot and your own web page. So if you uh, are interested, stay tuned after the intro, we are going to continue. Linkvertise. Monetize your content. Hey guys and welcome back to the video after the intro. So to start with, I want to talk about the general Fullscript API. First of all, it's useful when you have a website with a ton of links or uh, a blog or a forum with a lot of links you want to monetize but don't want to insert every link uh, yourself into the create link feature uh, right here because it's just too much work and you don't have the time for it. So that's when the Fullscript API takes in place because you can just insert a small snippet into your web page and all links are exchanged to Linkvertise links. That means basically we put a Linkvertise link with your preset ad settings in between the original link and uh, your web page. So now people uh, are monetized when they try to access the content first and after that they get access to the uh, desired content. So now how does the Fullscript API work and um, yeah, what limitations um, the Fullscript API has? First of all, let's just activate the Fullscript API so then you can see a different dashboard. So yeah, here it is. And first of all, we see the script, so you can uh, imagine it's very simple and uh, the WordPress plugin is also included. We'll come to it later. So you can see the script and the blacklist and whitelist features. So um, blacklist and whitelist are basically the limitations for your links. Um, so usually the Fullscript API monetizes every link, but um, you have to ensure that, for example, your menu is not monetized. Um, so for example, if you have internal website links you don't want to monetize or other links, you can put them into the blacklist. Or if you um, just want to monetize some links, you can, even, um, you can just whitelist, for example, a G Drive repository. So um, to continue, we um, can set the ad settings in here. So you can decide which ad settings you want to enable. The download manager is not available for the Fullscript API because it's just available for single link creations. Um, yeah, so now we can set the ad settings. I just leave uh, yeah, everything on. We can save the settings. Right now, um, first of all, I want to show you the integration into Blogger or into a Blogspot. Then I'm going to show you the implementation with the WordPress plugin. And last but not least, I'll show you how to integrate the Fullscript API into your own web page. So let's start with Blogger right now. Blogger is a very simple approach. So um, you see my Blogger dashboard right here for the people who are familiar with it. And uh, you can see that I created two um, little posts, the one first saying the internal link and the uh, other th saying testing link. So the testing link should be a YouTube uh, or is a link to our Linkvertise YouTube channel. You can see it right here. And uh, the other one is just an internal link to the other post actually. So we can uh, test it here is the other post. Um, what we want to do now is first of all, we want to integrate the Fullscript API uh, monetizing every external link. So what we do is basically going into the layout, then um, add a gadget and uh, choose the, um, the gadget HTML and JavaScript. So you can edit. Don't uh, put a title um, because then your theme will be a bit, little bit uh, confused. So now we integrate this one and add it uh, in here save it and now if you reload your page you can see on the lower uh, left that now both are linkvertise links so the link minus two point net links 
So here we go. And we can even test it for the one link. So it's working as it should. But for example, we don't want to uh, monetize the internal link anymore. So what we do is we can blacklist the part of the URL. So for example, blogspot. If we blacklist the word blogspot, this is simply added to your blacklist part of the link. Um, we copy the full script, go here, paste the new one. And if we now um, refresh the page, we see that this is now redirecting again to the blog article. And this one is still redirecting uh, to Linkvertise and then to YouTube as it should. So please keep in mind that um, if you want to monetize, uh, if you don't want to monetize special uh, in URL links, then please include uh, your URL or domain name into um, yeah the blacklist part or otherwise you can just whitelist the ones where you want to monetize your content to so that's about the uh, that's it about the integration in blogger so right now we go in a little bit faster into the uh, wordpress plugin and also uh, the integration in your own web page because it's literally the same restrictions with uh, the whitelisting and blacklisting um, but it's a little bit different integration so that's why uh, we're doing it and a lot of people request it. So right now we are on a, my um, local WordPress installation. Uh, I just set it up. So here you can see we have a hello world and prepared external link and internal link so that you can see the difference. Um, right now we search for a plugin, Linkvertise. Find the plugin, download it, wait some seconds. It's not large activate it and right now if you go into the settings you can see activate full script api you have to check that button and uh, you need to put in your account id the account id is this idea um, id in the full script api so i'll quickly copy it um, and right now you can also choose to back blacklist or whitelist. So we choose the blacklist option. And here you can see that the local host in this case, it's my domain name, uh, is already in the blacklisting. So when we save this settings right now, you should see external link is now a link to link. So basically a link link and the internal link is still to our local host page. Uh, which is actually not existent, but uh, you see the point. So right now, if we want to, for example, blacklist YouTube as well, just save it. And if we uh, check again, right now we see the external link. Ah. One second. We have to separate through a comma. So that was the reason. Um, so we change it. Right now we can update it again. External link youtube.com. So now it's working uh, as it should. So keep in mind that you uh, put a comma or a semicolon between each um, domain you are entering. So next on, so yeah, first of all, that was the integration into uh, WordPress. And next on, we have the integration in our own web page. So I just created a simple HTML page. You can see the code in here. And uh, first of all, I have integrated a um, link, internal link to this one. And uh, on the index page you are seeing in the background already, uh, we have the integration for YouTube and uh, another internal link. So right now, you can see there's no full script API included. Both links are just um, on the lower left, uh, just the same links as it should. So right now we're gonna go into our um, thing in here. We copy, we paste the script in the head tag. So that's important, choose the head tag of your HTML. Um, save the page. 
now you see we blacklisted blockspot um, it doesn't have any effect so uh, in this case we blacklist localhost for example and um, if we refresh our page right now you can see youtube link is converted and the localhost link stays the same as it should we can also just uh, to ensure that it's working correctly we can remove the localhost part in here save it reload the page now this one and this one are lingvitized links yeah so you see this is how the full script api works figure out your own settings what's working best for you um, i hope you liked the video and please leave a comment what other things you want to see or if you have questions to the integration into other services let us know we'll maybe make a video about it thanks for watching we see each other in the next week bye